Jones. He was also concerned with the fuel he was putting into his body. He began experimenting with high-protein drinks that he blended himself and supplemented with ginseng, royal jelly, and massive doses of vitamins. He was very known for taking vitamins and minerals and stuff like that, and he had to go and find these various different ones and put them together, where now we can just walk into any store and be able to buy certain supplements like that. So a lot of the things he was doing as an athlete back then is things that we incorporate now as bodybuilding. Bruce Lee's approach to high-protein drinks was revolutionary and shocked some of his colleagues when he returned to Hong Kong. At that time, when we were not making movies, we would go to his house. He showed us how he ate beef, raw beef from the U.S. He put the raw beef into the blender and had the milk, seven eggs, and then, wow, he gulped that thing down. We were terrified. It was amazing. And it wasn't just his high-protein shakes that shocked his friends. 视频前的你，如果在男性持久力、勃起硬度等方面不满意，现在就加郭老师微信：三五八幺六三三七九，让郭老师帮助你持久坚挺，延时二十到四十分钟，补肾壮阳，延时助勃，增强呼吸性生活。二十八天彻底告别快男软男，做回自信的自己。记住微信：三五八幺六三三七九。But way before that was employed in any physician's room, you saw Bruce Lee doing that at home on his own. He was just.